This is the Kali Audio INUNF Studio Monitor System, and it just might be the perfect studio monitors for you if you produce music in your bedroom or in an apartment. You can get loud, and it may not wake up the neighbors. It's compact and has several crazy tricks up its sleeve. In fact, even setting up this thing is unique. In this video, I'm gonna unbox, set up, and test out these monitors with a small studio desk, and I'll let you know how it sounds for mixing and producing music at home. Let's do it. I always hear really good things about other Kali Audio speakers. It must be due to their affordable price and good sound, I guess. So what's in the box? USB cable, power cable. So this INUNF system retails for $599. I'll put links to the best places to buy it below the video. Kali Audio sent this to me to test out, and that's what we're gonna do today. So the papers inside actually show you exactly how to set up the monitors depending on your desk and room configuration. All right, so these are actually smaller than I expected. These have the same coaxial mid-range drivers and tweeters that Kali puts in their larger INF and IN8 studio monitors. So these are relatively light, maybe a little heavier than I thought. They have a nice hard plastic feel to them and they go on these stands. There you go. So this is pretty heavy. This is the base unit. Now keep watching because I ran an interesting test comparing these with traditional monitors later in the video. There are several super unique things with the setup alone. These satellites are supposed to be placed at arm's length from your ears. That's super close. So that's why they call them ultra near field. That's the UNF in the name. The satellites are sitting on these pads so you can easily adjust the angle to point towards your ear. Now with any studio monitor on your desk, you will get some sound reflections from the desk itself. With the UNF system, Kali says they've accounted for those reflections in the calibration of these speakers. We'll find out. So what about this monster bass unit? This actually houses the woofer and the amplifier for the whole system. So here's another magic trick. Kali says that the vibrations are not going to transfer to the desk or anything you put on top. They actually suggest putting a computer monitor on top of this, or you can put it behind your monitor or laptop. This connects directly to your computer by USB-C. So unlike most other studio monitors, you're not connecting this to the outputs of your audio interface, but you can if you want with the TRS connections. But I'm gonna try this with USB-C. So in your DAW, you're going to select this as your output, not your interface. I like that. It simplifies things. Okay, one last thing. They've given you custom sound settings for different desk and room setups. Since we've set up our desk like this, we'll use these dip switch settings. You can also tweak the low, mid, high frequencies with these other dip switches. You can get plus or minus two decibels or even boost the bass plus four decibels. On the Kali Audio website, they say that the frequency response of the system is from 39 hertz to 25 kilohertz, which is the same as their traditional five inch studio monitor, the IN5. So I wouldn't think of this as your traditional sub that you would put under your desk. It's more comparable to traditional monitors, but the setup is so different. The perceived sound could be different as well. Okay, so how does it sound? I was super excited to try it. Overall, these sound great. Everything sounds upfront and close, ultra near field, but very detailed, nice for mixing. Clarity is good, especially with the bass, which surprised me the most. And yeah, minimal vibrations to the desk. You're gonna feel a little, but not more than typical studio monitors, maybe even a bit less. The bass is crisp and clear, and after listening to some bass heavy music, I didn't find myself missing the sub bass. There was enough bass to keep me happy. Mids sound good. The bass unit is handling some of the mids nicely, which is keeping vocals focused in the middle when needed. Having the large unit in the middle with its own speakers on both sides is actually helping the middle focus. At the end of the day, these sound similar to desktop studio monitors. In fact, really nice desktop studio monitors. I'm gonna enjoy mixing with these every now and then, particularly for that up-close sound. It's just so nice for mixing. All right, so what do I think of this whole setup? 
It's pretty attractive and a compact solution for a small size studio, especially if you need to be conscious of neighbors. Now, everything is close up, so listening is very efficient even at low volumes. I actually did an interesting test. I tested another set of studio monitors and recorded the audio from it at a comfortable listening volume with my lapel mic. Then I set the Kali INUNF volume to approximately the same volume and recorded it with my lapel mic as well. The volume on the INUNF was actually lower. I have a feeling the perceived volume of these monitors is louder than they actually are since they are ultra near field. Now this test is in no way scientific, so take it for what it's worth, but I feel that it's a good sign that it may work well in warding off angry neighbors. The setup is easy, no extra cables to your audio interface, and I think the whole setup is kind of attractive. You'll need to like the look of these speakers because they're in your line of sight all the time. You don't need speaker stands or to have to worry about desk reflections because Cali has accounted for that as well. Now there are a few cons. This does take up some valuable space on your desk, but remember you've kind of saved some space without larger monitors as well. So think about where you're gonna really want that extra space. Now this is more expensive than traditional monitors from Cali. I mean, you can get their LP6, the 6.5 inch studio monitors for $400 for a pair. So this is going to be a little extra money. And I wanna add something here. I've actually tested other Cali studio monitors and while they're great for the price you're paying, I'm actually more impressed with the sound of the INUNF, especially when it comes to the very pleasant bass. These are not multimedia consumer speakers, even though they kind of look like them. These sound like studio monitors. And once you get used to that upfront sound for mixing, I think you may really like this for a small studio setup. If this setup looks like something you'd like, I'll add links to the video description to the best places to buy the INUNF system by Cali. Keep making the music you love and check out this video where I round out the best 5-inch studio monitors you can buy right now. See you there.